It's the final match on day four and the biggest game of the competition so far for the hosts as Great Britain take on the defending champions, trophy holders and the reigning Olympic champions, Germany. Granbush and Vinfeder again at the top of the circle. This time it's Vinfeder who leaves it for Granbush. Go for the check on. What a stop on the line that is for Middleton. That's just brilliant. Great routine from Germany. Spin off the top right-hand castle. Spins to left-hand castle. Delivered to injector. Somehow Middleton gets across. Well, he didn't leave his post. He didn't leave his zone. And he stepped across behind his keeper, as you want your postman to do. So right castle. Spins to Grabish. He can't get it away, so he just bunts back to Dika. Pinner gets caught. Middleton picks that. Leghorn to the left. And it's gone to Gleghorn, who goes low, and that's a good save from Jacobi. So some excellent defensive work at both ends. And it comes, it goes to Jackson. Jackson rifles it just wide. That has got to be pretty close. Yeah, favourite corner for Jackson, brings it into his feet, releases off his wrists. That is so close to the top corner. To be effective, he needs to just get close, keep his feet flat on the floor. Grambush, good save, good follow-up. What a double save. Well, no, I think he's missed the second shot. It's a, it's a single save by Pinner plunging to his right-hand side, and the follow-up has been pulled wide. But nevertheless, Pinner has rescued Great Britain here. I was absolutely convinced it was an exceptional first save. Who's going to take on the responsibility here? It's going to be Jackson. Jackson fires it in. Jacoby makes the save. It falls from Middleton, who pops it over the bar. Middleton with a chance to give Great Britain the lead, but he just gets too much on it, and it goes over the bar. Uh, Jacoby picks the save. He gets down low and blocks it. Middleton, watch Jacoby try and shrug. He jumps at this. Middleton's trying to go over the top of the big man. Brambush on the far side. And it is going to be Hayner. Hayner moves it. Oh, there's a little movement there, and he's... Up to it is Pinner, no, he's not, it falls to Halka. Well, there is the movement that you've never seen before when they need it most, and that is 67 seconds before the half-time break. And Germany have the lead, courtesy of Tobias Halka. Jackson's just gone to the left. Jackson, and another great save from Jacobi. It's still alive with Ward. And uh, it's a 16. It's a brilliant pick from Jacobi. Goalkeepers tend to have one better side than the other, but look, the German defence is offsetting. You can see his first step. He's covering Jackson's favoured side. The starting blocks as Jackson goes again. This time he finds a way through. And Ashley Jackson, at the eighth time of asking, makes it Great Britain one, Germany one. And I think that's hurt Jacobi. Well, you said it, Charlie, you find a way through, and it has gone straight through the inside of Jacobi's legs. Quite possibly. We talked about it earlier on. We did our little uh, 101 on overheads. Well, here comes the skipper, Fuchs. Fuchs driving to the head of the circle on the reverse stick. It's there, Pinner, great save. What a save, Pinner. Jonas Gommel denied by the right leg of George Pinner. And Pinner wants the... Clock stopped to repair his kit, but have another look at this. What a ball. It's a great ball from Fuchs. It's off the end of Dixon's stick. Gommel gets it. So it goes to Gommel. What Barry a Middleton. Save. Or is that Middleton on the line? Middleton and Pinner combined from Jonas Gommel. Low corner, in the corner, on the sideline. Oh, this this is corner. runs. This has no, just no, no. been hooked. Oh, Lewis very nearly he had, had to, to make that. Oh, had to make it. Absolutely killer take. Lewis fires it forward. That is going to be the last player of the match. The final hooter will sound. There it is. Well, Germany won't be defending their Champions Trophy title. Great Britain are still very much in the hump, but they need Australia to beat India on the final day of pool play, and they will then need to beat Belgium.